Hello everyone. Today I will be showing how to cast SDS paint gel. The apparatus required to cast the gel are spacer plate, shot plate, casting frame, and casting stand. Now put the shot plate in front of the spacer plate like this. and clamp it to the casting frame carefully. Ensure that the bottom is flat. When everything is done, attach it on the casting stand. Next, place a comb between the plates and make a mark about 1 cm below the comb. Take the comb out. Now next, we will do a leak test by adding a small amount of water. As you can see, the plates are not leaky. So therefore, either you can directly pour out the water or you can use a filter paper. Okay, now we will cast the resolving gel. The recipe includes these components. as it initializes polymerization reaction. The recipes may vary, but ingredients are the same. Three. We will start pouring the gel between the plates till the mark. Avoid air bubbles. In, in case air bubbles are formed, you can remove it by adding a layer of isopropanol, which also helps in leveling. Allow the gel to set for 20 30 minutes. After polymerization of resolving gel, you can pour off the isopropanol from the sides. Next, we will cast the stacking gel. The recipe includes these ingredients. Make sure again you have to add timid in the end. Uh, fill the rest of the plate with stacking gel up to the top. Make sure there are no air bubbles are formed as it will get trapped. Now insert the comb gently. Allow the gel to solidify for 15 to 20 minutes. Now
Now, we will proceed with the running of the gel. To run a SGS page gel, make sure you have your gel ready, running apparatus and the samples. Now, to assemble the gel, take the prepared gel. With the short plate facing inwards, place it like this in the electrode assembly. Now, as we will run a single gel, we will use a buffer dam. If you look closely, you can see a short plate on the inner side of the gel. This side should face the electrode assembly. Once you are ready with this, place the electrode assembly in the clamping frame. And make sure you push it down while you clamp it together. Now place the whole assembly in the tank. This is the inner chamber and these two are the outer chambers. Now fill the inner chamber with buffer to the top. Now you can usually remove the combs as it is lubricated. We will proceed with loading samples. You can also use the gel loading guide to load samples. Top of the inner chamber with buffer. Fill up the outer chamber just enough, just enough to submerge the bottom of the gel. Now we will attach the power supply to the tank. Put on the lid like this. Black to black and red to red. Set the voltage at 200 volts and run for 45 minutes to 1 hour.